Hello, Tab Nation. It is your boy, Tom. <clears throat> Today, we're going to talk about the game Friday Night Funkin'. I see a lot of people asking about this. Uh, the game's been out for a while, but for some reason, it's gained a lot of popularity recently. Uh, this is pretty simple stuff to do with auto hockey, so I'm not going to spend much time, but this question has been coming up a ton lately for some reason. Uh, so this is basically just a script that's going to remap. The game as of right now does not have a way to do that. You're pretty much forced to use the arrow keys, which a lot of people don't like doing. Uh, so we're just going to do that. If you don't know how to install auto hotkeys, I have a video that I'm going to put in the description below that just shows you a very basic setup of how to do that and how to uh, make your first script. So let's take a look at the code. So a lot of this code I got from a guy named uh, Felix. Here's the website. I just got that included. I just kind of saw what he was doing. I tweaked it a little bit, but you know I still want to give him some credit because he made the initial script for this. Um, so this is just you know Friday Night Funkin' custom controls. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is set title match mode to two. He had three, but I prefer to always use two. Uh, what that does is. It gives you a little more flexibility on the target. Basically, like, if the window is activate Friday Night Funkin', you know, do all this stuff. But with, uh, it's set to two, you can get, a, you could even delete like that and just have it, hey, as long as it has the name Friday in the title of the window, you're good to go. Uh, so I, I just like that because it gives you more flexibility. Uh, we're doing the max hotkey here uh, to 2000. Uh, that's what he had. I don't know if that really needs to be played with much, uh, but that's what he was using. And that's just to prevent your computer from really locking up from holding down a key or something uh, a little too long. And just having it kind of like accidentally spam way too much than your computer can handle. Now obviously we want this script to really only work in the game. That way, you know, I can play the game. I have my remap going on, but maybe I jump over to, you know, YouTube or something, I want to look up a video, I still have full functionality of my keys without them trying to accidentally remap or me having to close the program. So the first thing we're going to do, and uh, you know, obviously play with this to however you want, but what I did is the first thing here is, you know, I press this key, which is your hot key, have the dots here, and instead of Z, we're going to push left. And then instead of X, we'll push down. Instead of C, we'll push up. Instead of V, we'll push right. But obviously, if I'm you know in a program like you know I'm right now, I can still use ZX as it's normal, just because it does not have the name Friday Night Funkin' in it. So we're good to go. Uh, he also included a Frets on Fire style kind of thing. Uh, if nobody's ever played that, it's kind of like a knockoff Guitar Hero for your computer, where you kind of like hold the keyboard almost like a guitar and use the function keys. Uh, so that's kind of what he did here with F1 being left, F2 down, F3 up, F4 right. So yeah. Uh, the last thing I want to point out, and I'm not really sure why people want to do this, but uh, they want to use their left and uh, right mouse button. I'm guessing so they can have, you know, like up and right over here and then, you know, left and down over here or something. The problem with this you got to be careful with is if you have this activated, and you're in the game playing and you try to click out because your if statement is equaling true your mouse button will no longer work and you're going to have to use alt tab to get to another window to get your functionality of your mouse back just to keep that in mind in case you do do this i know i've seen people asking for this um, so just remember alt tab because your left mouse button won't work you won't be able to click on your desktop or anything until you uh Make sure that window is not your active window anymore. And then we're just going to close our if here from up here. Uh, as you see, these are all green. They have the little semicolons in front. That means they're commented out. So the only thing that's working right now is this. Uh, if you do decide you want to use the frets on files, uh, a fire style, just put uh, commas up here or semicolons up here and then delete the ones down here so they're activated. Or, well, not that line. That's, uh, you know, just the title. Just get rid of those. And just in case for some reason I completely lose functionality of something and it's not working the way I want, I did add F9 uh, to close out the script uh, just in case. Uh, so 
I, I just recommend putting it in there, especially if you're using the mouse button things here. That can be a bit of a pain. This is just a quick way to exit out. Uh, so yeah, I'll do a quick demo. I do not promise I'm any good at this game. I haven't really played it much. I played it just kind of for fun when I kept seeing people ask about it. So let's load that up. I like the music though for the game. It's pretty cool. And while it's loading, if you haven't yet, definitely subscribe. I do video game tutorials with auto hotkeys, also tutorials on you know stuff for your job, how to automate your job, or just personal stuff in general. Make sure you hit that notification because I do do one or two videos every week. All right, should be loading up here. Not sure if you can hear the music on here. I'll turn it up just a little bit. So we'll just do the tutorial real quick. So I'm going to push uh, ZXV, and as you see up there, nothing's happening, even though I'm pressing it. So I'm going to go ahead and run my script. Now I'm going to come back, and now, there you go, you can see they are now remapped. And I can do stuff, but I'm obviously going to lose there, because so I'm just spamming those keys. All right, if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments below, and I'll help you out, and I'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.